I'm really excited to show you this video because many of you have been asking for this one feature in Thrive Quiz Builder and many of you have told us that this would make this quiz builder the most badass quiz builder if we could only add this very feature. Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams and in this video I'm going to show you our latest feature in Thrive Quiz Builder. We've added the possibility to add tags to every answer for every question. Now, if you've been one of those people who have been asking for this, you're probably going bananas now. But if you're not sure how to use this or if you're not sure what would be the use case for this, then keep on watching because I'm going to show you an example of how to use this tagging feature for each answer. Let's have a look at this new tagging feature. So the tagging feature allows you to send tags to your email service. So this will give you the opportunity to send additional information about your quiz takers to your email provider, which will then allow you to do advanced email segmentation. So first of all, make sure that your Thrive Quiz Builder is updated to the latest version, and then let's go to the dashboard. I imagined a quiz here for a health coach. And so the quiz would be which exercises will help you get in shape. So let's take a look. As you can see, I chose the category quiz type. I just selected one of the templates. And here, this is where you will be able to add the tags on the question level. So let's click on manage. And as you can see, we have a very simple quiz. I didn't add any branching or any advanced stuff. And there are only four questions. But we have some questions that could be very interesting to have in our email service for segmentation. So for example, the first question is, are you a man or a woman? If we go into this question now, let's edit it. You can see that here you have a new option, which is called tags. And even though this is not a question that will define whether somebody will go in a certain category, this could still be information that we are looking for to capture. So to be able to send to our email provider. For that, just turn on the tags. And now you see here that something appeared so you have a new field where you can add a tag now here this would for example be male and female now when somebody opts in at the end of the quiz and this could be an opt-in gate or this could be an opt-in form on your results page these tags will be sent to the email provider in addition to the tags that you can add on the opt-in form so let's save this and so maybe you also want to know if people prefer working out at home, at the gym or in the park, so that then you can send them specific emails to give exercises about working out at the gym, or maybe you have a program that's all about how to exercise in public, and so you want to send people who already like exercising in the park this program. And so here you can also add tags. So as you can see, you can do this for certain questions or for all questions in your quiz. You don't have to do it for all of them because it doesn't make sense either to have like 10 or 15 tags added to your email provider. But here you could add exercise home, exercise gym, and let's say exercise public. Okay, let's save this. And now at the end here we are asking, do you prefer to get a six pack? Are you looking to have strong legs or are you looking to tone your whole body? So this is actually the only question that will send people into different categories here in this quiz, because I have a category for abs, a category for legs and a category for toning. So all the other questions are actually more information and don't send people to a category. Now, this is just the way I set up the quiz, but of course you can do this exactly how you want it to. So let's save and exit. And now for this tagging feature to work, you need, of course, an opt-in form somewhere in your quiz. So either you can add an opt-in gate. So an opt-in gate is when you force people to opt in before seeing the results, or you could on your results page, add an opt-in form. And that's exactly what I did in this quiz. I used the dynamic content in Thrive Quiz Builder that you can find here in your sidebar. You can find Thrive Quiz Builder and then here you will have dynamic content 
to have different results pages depending on the category. So if somebody says, I want to get a six pack, then they will go to this results page. So you can see that here they get uh, two exercises already. And then we will try to get them to opt in and say like, if you want the full routine, if you want more exercises, if you want our four secret exercises, whatever, then you can opt in. And the moment somebody opts in, they will be added to the specific email service and they will get the tags. So here, let's set this up, connect with the service. Now for this to work, you will need an email provider, an email service that is actually tag based, such as ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft or Aweber, for example. So let's choose active campaign. Let's say this is for our test list. And here on the opt-in form, we can still add additional tags. So here, if we want to add the apps tag, for example, that's still possible. So let's save this. Let's ask for first name. And you can set this up as usual. And now save everything. Let's take the quiz and see what happens. So here I would say, I'm a woman, I'm fit, I prefer working out in the park or public places, and I'm trying to get a six pack. So now I get the results page for the six pack dynamic content. So here I can opt in. And now we can see in active campaign what actually happened. As you can see, the contact got added to the list in active campaign and all three tags are added to this contact record. So this will now allow you to start automations and to start specific follow-up emails, for example. I hope you like this new feature and let us know in the comments how you are going to use it. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them below.